Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Max. Welcome back to another show, another episode, another tier list video. Today we got Apex Legends. Uh, we'll be ranking all the legends that are in Apex currently. Um, I'm pretty sure from the list that I found, they don't have a season 10 version yet. So I will add Seer. Um, I'll just rank him first, but he just won't be there because uh, there's no season 10 tier list yet. Uh, there's only season 9. So we'll do that. Um, before we start, if you want to go support me on Patreon, the link is down in the description below. My Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch are down there as well. Um, I do stream on Twitch almost every day, it, um, specifically like Apex Legends. So um, you can go check me down there. But without further ado, let's get... Uh, here, let me go put this in presentation mode. All right. Let's get right into it. So since Sierra isn't on the list once again, um, I if I were to rank him right now, he's I feel like right now Sierra is S tier. Um, they are gonna nerf him, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but overall, I think he's an S tier operator, operator legend. Um, obviously, uh, Sierra he has a heartbeat, so he, he can pretty much predict your every single move. He can see where you are. He can see your heartbeat, um, how close you are to him. He can uh, use his. Uh, ability he shoots like a tunnel that can uh if you get hit by it you lose um a little bit of shield and he can see where you are he can see like your heart he can see like your heart is like in like an orange box or whatever you can see your character moving um and then his ultimate is um he can throw down like a like a big dome it's like a big dome that um if you are in it he is able to see your footsteps moving and he can pretty much he pretty much has wall hacks he can see you he can see you as long as you're in his dome which is very very um good i feel like a little op but overall s tier operator um i like using him a lot and uh yeah moving on to octane i feel like octane is an a tier operator honestly um he has a stim shot that he stims himself and he pretty much runs faster he does lose a little bit of health but his passive ability is he does regain health slowly um so you don't like if you're in a fight unless you're fighting he will regain health if you lose some and he always has a jump pad that pretty sure got nerfed the amount of it's it's a little slower now but yeah he has a like a pad that he can put down he, you go over and it launches you up if you slide you go far distance if you just jump on you go high so uh Hey, he's a fun operator to use. I don't really use him that much because I do prefer other legends, but it's not bad. Now that I think about it, he's almost B tier for me. You know, I'm going to put him B tier because I don't want to put it too high then. I would rather put it too high than, I mean, too low than too high. Pathfinder. The man that got nerfed like 17 times and then buffed a little bit. Now, old Pathfinder, S tier. I feel like the Pathfinder that is now in the game, um, either C or B, um, not that he, he's like, I don't really use him because for me, yeah, it's fun like grappling and stuff. He obviously has like a grapple that he can grapple around and he he can scan uh, survey beacons and um, he uh, has like a zip line that he can put down that you can make rotations to or for me personally, now this is my own tier list, obviously my own opinion on these operators. On these, I keep saying operators on these legends is he seats here for me he's not I, I don't find him that fun to play um, yeah, moving on rampage in my opinion another CT operator I know she got I'm pretty sure she got buffed and her like LMG is pretty good I um, mean melts she has like deployable shields that she can put down that she can uh, shoot through um, but overall um, obviously uh, I'm pretty sure she has an LMG. They have a damage buff to them or ammo buff, um, something like that. I don't really use her that often because I don't find her very fun. She's like a camping operator. Uh, I'm not about really camping and stuff, so. But I think, she, for me personally, I think she's over her last tier. She's not that great, in my opinion. Watson, another camping operator. I don't play Watson, personally, because I'm not good with her. You have to you use her fences. Uh, okay, here. Uh, pretty much her abilities. Her passive, she regains shield slowly over time. 
and uh, then she has the ability where she can put down like electric fences that if you go through you get shocked and you pretty sure you lose some health. Um, and then her ultimate ability, she puts down like a like a shield orb almost. Like it spins and then it it blocks grenades, and it makes you regain shield as well faster uh, without using like batteries or uh, shield cells. If you know how to play her, she can be a almost S tier, I would say, in uh, gameplay wise. She's probably played more mostly in like higher ranks. But for me, she's kind of a B. I've used her a couple times. I'm not that good with her. I forget to like put down her fences and stuff. Um, but yeah. Wraith. S tier, S -tier legend for me. I think Wraith is really, really good. I don't really use her a lot because I don't really main her. I have friends that main her. So I, I just let them uh, stick to her because they have more hours on her. So they're a little better. Uh, obviously, she has the ability where she can like phase out for a, a limited amount of time. And she can't be hurt. It's, she, it could be used to like... She's like a go, attack, and then leave. Fast, fast, fast. She's very fast. She could be down a portal. Um, and then she, if somebody's aiming at her, she gets a notification. Um, so I guess it's, a, it's like a good... Uh, if yeah, you, if you're bad, if you get sniped a lot out of nowhere, I guess she's she's a legend for you because every time um she gets aimed at, she gets notified. But yeah, S tier operator. I'm just gonna keep playing operator because uh, I'm just used to it. But yeah, S tier legend. Um, very fun to play. I played her for a little bit. I didn't. I never got to actually main her and play her enough because the people that I play with, they they're either mains of her or so I never get the chance. Fuse. I know he does get a buff. I don't really see him. I like never see fuses really anymore. I don't know why. Uh, obviously, when he first came out, his his ring of fire wasn't that good. His mother load was not good. It like did barely any damage, and there was a time where you just don't get hit by it. His cluster grenade um, can melt your shield, especially if you get stuck with it. My opinion, I don't think is that great. I think for me, fuse is D tier. I never play him. I've only played him like twice, and I never had fun with him. So for me, his uh, D tier, his obviously as an but he he as a legend, he can uh, if he's pretty much specializes in like grenades, so if, um, he can throw grenades a lot farther than like a regular legend. So I guess that's like a good thing about him. But I don't really find him that fun to play. Um, Valkyrie. Moving on to Valkyrie, um, Valkyrie's a good, like, she has good movement. If you have good movement as Valkyrie, you're a good, like, that's really good. She can obviously just, like, fly around, uh, throw her, throw her, like, uh, shoot her missiles down on the ground, do some damage, maybe take off some shield, and then her ultimate ability is she can, um, obviously she can also fly. She has, like, a jetpack that she, she, she can fly, but her ultimate ability is pretty much she gets ready, she, like, charges up her jetpack. If your team is there, they can uh, like lock on with you, and then she just gets she has almost like a rocket launched up in the sky, and then you can get uh, you can go glide to like the next location. So pretty much like a like a balloon, the balloons that you can take. Um, yeah. For me, personally, I think she's if you have good movement with her and you know how to use her, she can be A tier. I find her way more fun than Octane. Um, That's a lie. Wait. I play more Octane than I play Valkyrie. I'll say that. So I think I'm actually going to swap these. I think I was right with my Octane pick earlier. I think he's A tier. I think Valkyrie's B tier. Yeah. I think that's right. All right. Moving on to Crypto. No. I'm not good at Crypto. Um... I've played him a lot, and just like I, I try to just get used to him, see like oh, maybe I just need to play him more. Maybe I'll get better with him. He's a good scout. Obviously, his drone's very useful. He can EMP, which takes off shield, um, and stuns enemies. And then yeah, he he can see how many enemies are in an area. He can scan survey beacons. Um, he doesn't have a lot of well, obviously his only ability is a drone. Obviously, um. If you're good at crypto, you can be A tier 
but I don't I don't play him. I, I don't really have a bunch of like I have like I played him obviously for like I tried playing him for like a season straight and then he just he, we, I just didn't click with him. It wasn't there. So I think he's B tier for me. But if you do not use him, if you're really good at him, he can definitely be A or S tier for you. Caustic. I feel like S tier operator. Okay, hear me out. When you're fighting, um, you have your caustic, obviously traps, his canisters, his gas canisters. You throw him down, you, the enemy loses health while also getting like their vision. They can't see anything and you can win because you don't get affected by the gas. He has a gas grenade that he can, shoot, that he can put down. Uh, he can throw. And that also does damage and makes him hard to see. If you know how to use him and you're, and you're a good caustic, you can have a very, very, very big advantage in a 1v1 and you can win it every time. So I think if you do know how to use him, he can be a, he's an S tier legend for me. Um, I've had uh, obviously uh, friends that I played with that were caustic mains and having that gas um, having those canisters in that maybe in that room or in that area where you're fighting where the enemy is getting damaged and can't see and you have an advantage over them and th that's what got us to win fights or matches even so I think he's a S tier legend for me I'm going to leave Gibby and Rev for last Horizon S tier 100% for me I know she got a little nerf but her her little like cues her boost up in the sky um very very useful obviously you can get up to high ground you can if you're getting shot at throw it down the enemy gets affected by it goes up in the air you have a chance to escape her ultimate's a black hole that sucks you in so she throws down like a uh, black hole um or like her like um her like machine that opens up opens a black hole which sucks you in, which you can throw all stars or grenades in there which can do damage or you can just damage them regularly when they're sucked in also uh obviously her passive ability or, um yeah is uh whenever she falls from a high distance and let's say you you like land and you slide most legends like cause they stop right and they like get slow and then they like get to normal speed again she earns a boost which makes her like pretty much like slide faster as soon as on impact and she lands so that can be very good moving into lifeline I think Lifeline is a A tier operator. She used to be more OP with the. If this was last season, S tier, or the season before that, when uh, whenever she reses with her drone, it creates like a shield, which is bulletproof. I feel like that that would make her S tier. But now she's A tier, because obviously, even though you res them, they can still get shot. Um, her healing drone ability is can become useful. You can shield and heal at the same time with it. Um, and she has a care package that she can drop that can drop you some loot. Um, so yeah, overall, pretty fun operator to play. I play Lifeline once in a while. Never have like a challenge, and uh, I have fun with her. Went on to Loba. It used to be D tier. And now she's, I would say like A or B. Obviously, I would say, I'll put her A. Obviously, her black market, you can loot from it. You can get unlimited ammo from it, pretty much. Ammo around, you can just keep using it, get all the ammo out of there we can pick two items they don't have to go out and loot excuse me and she has the ring that she can throw and teleport it's more accurate now back a couple seasons ago it wasn't accurate at all and it would suck and uh it would put loba down in d tier but right now i think she's a she's, she's a solid a moving on oh and she can see loot uh through like walls whenever there's like legendary purple loot she can see it through walls or through the uh, the looting boxes mirage for me i think mirage is d tier i don't find him fun at all I, if you're a good mirage you can actually trick people he's the operator for you or the legend for you <laughs> um obviously he can uh he has decoys as his abilities so he can like call it a decoy tournament run forward whenever somebody shoots a decoy he gets in, he gets in the notification that he tricked him. Um, his ultimate ability is he like he clicks a, a button and then like nine decoys come out of him, and then like they all move like you do, so you can pretty much run away, or you can even trick enemies into thinking that you're a decoy and then you won't get shot. 
Um, I don't find him very fun, personally. But, I mean, I think he's... And um, also, I forgot to say, um, never hear Red's this, he searches invisible. But it's very obvious because you can hear it. So. Moving on to Bangalore. I used to be a Bangalore main. I think Bangalore is pretty useful. Obviously, her ability is she can... Whenever somebody shoots at her, she gets she gets a speed boost, which she can run faster. She has smoke grenades that she can, that she can throw down, and uh, her ultimate is like a bombardment, almost like Gibby's ult, but hers doesn't explode on impact. It stays there until everything landed, and then they start exploding one one by one. And uh, yeah, it does a lot of uh, shield damage and stuff, and you can get you a lot of kills. So I think I'm gonna put her A tier. If you haven't, if you're in like a trouble, you can throw down your smokes and escape. And then, obviously, if they're shooting at you, get faster as well, so she, she can escape very quickly. Bloodhound, I would say eight S tier. Obviously, he can scan um, in a straight direction, and they will reveal enemies if the scan reaches them. Um, he can scan survey beacons because he is like a scout op, uh, legend. His ultimate is he goes into hunt uh, hunt mode, beast hunt mode. Um, where pretty much his whole vision is red, he can see footprints and he can see enemies highlighted in red. Um, I think Bloodhound is very useful in the fight, taking over where enemy locations are, and you can win it. So I think overall he is an ST operator for me, or legend. Um, and uh, yeah, very fun to play. He is, if I can't play Revenant or, or uh, Gibby, I will play Bloodhound. Moving on, we'll do, we'll do Rev last. Got Gibby. I think Gibby is an S tier. I think Gibby is S tier. He has an arm shield which can block bullets, a couple of bullets, which can obviously like, if you're in the one one, you can win it. If they shoot the face, if they shoot your face shield, um, they waste time, they waste their bullets, um, and they waste time damaging you. So, you, if you do get in the one v one, um, and they start shooting you, and you start shooting back at the same time, you will most likely win because you will shoot. End up shooting first, and you have a face shield. Once again, it'll save you some shield or health, and um, you can win that. He has a dome that he could, that he puts out that is bulletproof um, and explosive proof, pretty much. If your teammate is in a dome hit, you can get rest faster. Okay, it's a very very good ability, and his ultimate is he has like a like a bombardment strike he throws down a uh, like a flare and then a bunch of like missiles come down and they explode on impact which does a lot of shield damage and health damage so very very fun to play i think he's uh definitely one, one of my favorites and then we got lastly we got revenant i'm a revenant main i think in my opinion revenant is S tier is one of the best ultimates, obviously like a second life, pretty much second chance to live. Um, he has, first of all, his passive, he can climb walls. He can climb walls um, higher. So that's very, very good. He can he can climb so high, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, and his tactical is, he has a silence ball. He has two of them, they recharge. Pretty much, if if you shoot an enemy and they walk near it or it hits them, they will get um, canceled, which pretty much cancels their. Um, they can't use their abilities uh, for a short, you know, uh, for a like a like a time limit, um, which can be very very useful, especially if you, if you like. Let's say you're you're one. Of the, let's say you're versing a horizon or a wraith. If you hit the wraith with your silence ball or even an octane, they can't. She can't phase out or octane can't stem and run away. Because they will get cancelled, and then they can't use their ultimate abilities either. They're very, very fun to play. I think, obviously, so we got Wraith, Caustic, Horizon, Bloodhound, Gibby, Rev, and Seer in S. Octane, um, Lifeline, Loba, and... Um, oh, I just forgot. Bangalore. Oh, I almost forgot her name. In A tier. And then we got Valkyrie. Watson and Crypto in B, Pathfinder and the Rampage in C, and Mirage and Fuse in D. This is the art. This is my tier list. Um, 
I know some of you might not agree with me, but this is my tier list. This, this is how, what I think of these legends. I think I would rather play all of these legends rather than these down here. So, thank you so much for watching. I will do an heirloom uh, tier list as well pretty soon. But uh, yeah, uh, if you want to go support me on Patreon, link is down in the description below. My Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch is down there as well. I do stream on Twitch almost every day, and it's mostly Apex Legends. So you can go check me out on there if you're interested. Um, like and subscribe if you do enjoy, and uh, I will always see you in the next one. Bye.